Hi students, um, I'm joining you today for a vocabulary and pronunciation lesson. Um, we're going to look at a difficult set of words. We've practiced this set of words quite often in the classroom. Um, and just giving you this video so that you can use it as a reminder, as a review, um, as an encouragement to continue practicing what we have already been practicing in class. What we're going to be talking about, what we are going to be talking about today is a set of words that are nearly identical. Um, and I'm thinking that we will probably be doing this with a few different sets over the next few weeks. The set that we're starting with today is though, through, thought, tough, thorough, and taught. I hope that these words look familiar to you. Um, we're going to take this step by step. We're going to spend a couple minutes talking about the pronunciation. Then we're going to spend a couple minutes talking about the uh, meaning. And then we will put them into some context in some sentences. And at the end, if you're up for it, please leave me some sentences below the video um, using these six words. Okay, when we come to pronunciation, we want to be thinking about the shape of your lips when you are speaking these different words. So my word, though, though, think about the word go, oh, though, though. You should see a small, tight circle with your lips, though, though. My word, through, ooh. Ooh, think about the sound of the word blue, blue, through, 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 though, oh, through, ooh. My word thought, ought, my mouth gets a lot bigger with my word thought. We have a lot of words that match this sound, like bought, caught, um, thought, 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 thought. Your mouth is getting very tall. Ah, 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 thought. And make sure with the TH, your tongue is between your teeth. Thought, thought. I often exaggerate this motion in the classroom so that you're thinking about it, you're physically feeling the tongue between your teeth. Thought. Get a mirror. Get a mirror or use your phone as a mirror so that you can see yourself. You can see the tongue is out. Thought. Thought. Because if we don't have this sound in our home language, we need to be practicing it to make sure that our body is learning how to do it. The reason you really need to focus on the tongue for thought is because if your tongue is inside, then you have taught, taught, thought, thought, my tongue is out, thought, taught, my tongue is inside, thought, taught. Let me jump back down to this fourth word in my list of tough, tough. Here the O-U-G-H is making the uff, uff sound, tough. Tough. My lips are tight. I have the sound where the top teeth are touching the bottom lip. Tough. Tough. Though, through, thought, tough, taught, thought, taught. And then our last word. So far, all of these five, though, through, thought, tough, and taught, all five of these have been one syllable. Our last word here is two syllables. Thorough, thorough. Again, that sound of go. But my difference between though, though, and thorough, thorough, 
the low. Okay, from pronunciation, let's jump to just our quick meaning. I'm just giving you a small snap of the meaning here first, and then we'll move on to an in-depth, to an in-depth meaning. My word though, similar to my word but, although, even though, through for direction, drive through, walk through, go through, thought, the past of think, today I think, yesterday I thought, tough is hard, difficult, taught, thought, taught, taught is the past of teach. Today I teach you about grammar, yesterday I taught you about grammar. And then thorough, my word thorough means complete, entire. Okay, so that's my quick definition, but let's jump into a more thorough, a more complete definition. Our first word of though, though is a conjunction. Um, this means it's a word that connects two sentences together. Similar like but, however, sometimes we see it as although, um, sometimes we see it as even though. My first example here says, though I hate the winter, I continue to live in Fargo. And these two sentences could be switched. So instead of saying, though I hate the winter, I continue to live in Fargo, I can switch them and say, I continue to live in Fargo, though I hate the winter. Um, my second sentence here, I work hard, even though learning English is difficult. Again, these sentences could be switched. Even though learning English is difficult, I work hard. Though. A second word of through. Through is a preposition giving direction. I drove through the parking lot trying to find a place. I walked through the hallway of the school. Um, through is spelled T-H-R-O-U-G-H. Even though you will see at McDonald's, at many fast food restaurants, T-H-R-U, drive through, T-H-R-U. This is the bad spelling. This is the lazy spelling. This is the incorrect spelling. Though and through. Thought. Again, the past of think. I think this is an easy word for us. Um, my two examples here, I thought about my family every day. I don't know what he thought about. I don't know what he thought about. Thought, remember your tongue. Your tongue is between your teeth for thought. 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 Taught. My tongue is inside my teeth. Thought. Taught. Again, taught the past of teach. The teacher taught us about difficult sets of words. He told me that he taught his sister to drive. These two are easier for us. We don't have as much difficulty. Tough, tough. Remember that F sound, tough. Adjective meaning firm, hard, or strong. My two examples here, learning English can be tough, the meat of goat is very tough. Our last word here, remember this has two syllables. Thorough, thorough. Thorough adjective to mean complete, entire. And I've only kept this here as an adjective, but this can become an adverb when we add the ly and we can say thoroughly. My first example here, the teacher gave a thorough explanation of the problem. She explained thoroughly. He is a thorough employee. He always finished everything he starts. He works thoroughly, the L-Y to give the adverb. Always in class, I ask my students, how's your brain? How are you feeling? Are you feeling kinda okay? Thoroughly confused? Was my explanation thorough enough for you? It's a tough set of words. 
even though it's a tough set of words, I thought it would be a good practice, so I taught you about these six words. I have one last piece to show you, and this is where my students will sometimes get a little bit crying. Though learning English is tough, Amy said we can get through it. The students thought about it, and the thorough teacher taught the grammar. Though learning English is tough, Amy said we can get through it. The students thought about it, and the thorough teacher taught the grammar. Um, let me know in the comments. Give me some sentences about these six words, using these six words. Let me know which one is the most difficult for you, which one is easiest for you. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe to the videos so that you'll get a notification on your phone anytime that we've updated or sent out a new video. See you later, students. See you soon.